Welcome to the volunteer program of the Claremont County Board of Developmental Disabilities. As you spend time within our agency, remember that you are giving the greatest gift of all, the gift of yourself. Take pride in your volunteer assignment because we take pride in your presence among our many programs and services. We are excited you expressed an interest in lending a hand to assist Claremont DD in serving children and adults with developmental disabilities. Claremont DD provides many programs and services for people from birth through retirement age. Here is an overview of those services. Not all areas are using the assistance of volunteers, but we would like you to have a complete vision of the agency as a whole. The following are services we provide. The Early Childhood Department serves children under the age of three. This program follows guidelines and rules from the Ohio Department of Developmental Disabilities from Part C of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, as well as rules from the Ohio Department of Health Help Me Grow system. Once a child is determined eligible for services, an early intervention team will support them and their family. The team includes a service coordinator, physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech therapist, early intervention specialist, and, if needed, specialists in hearing and vision. Claremont Help Me Grow is a program designed to assure that newborns, infants, and toddlers in Claremont County have the best possible start in life. Pregnant women, newborns, infants, and toddlers under the age of three and their families are potentially eligible for services. All services are voluntary and free to residents of Claremont County. In Ohio, three out of every thousand babies born will have a hearing loss. That is why babies born in Ohio's hospitals and birthing centers receive screenings for hearing loss before going home. These hearing screenings are performed in the nursery or in the mother's hospital room while the baby sleeps. The materials used are safe, quick, and painless. If the baby does not pass the hearing screening, more testing is needed. There are several reasons why a baby may not pass hearing screening. These include birth debris in the ear canal, fluid in the middle ear, too much movement during the screening, or a hearing loss. Ohio's Regional Infant Hearing Program, which is part of Help Me Grow, offers support to families of children birth up until their third birthday with hearing loss and can help babies learn to communicate by providing specialized services. These services are provided at no cost and include language and auditory stimulation, family support, and educational resources. Many children with hearing loss who are identified early and who receive the support they need develop the same language skills as hearing children. The Claremont County Board of Developmental Disabilities has a school age program that provides educational services to students ages 6 through 21 at the Thomas A. Wildey School. Students with intensive cognitive, medical, or physical needs attend classes at Wildy, as well as those with multiple disabilities, significant behaviors, and autism spectrum disorders. Student placement is determined by a team along with the local education agency as an educational option on the continuum of services in Claremont County. Students must be enrolled in their local school district to participate at Wildy. Instruction includes functional daily living skills, adaptive behavior, vocational skills, and recreation or leisure skills. Additionally, students may receive related services such as speech and language therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, or nursing services as determined by their individualized education plan. All students participate in adapted physical education, which includes aquatics. The vision of the school age program is to provide a safe learning environment for students to actively participate in the educational process and provide students the opportunity to achieve their fullest potential. A variety of adult services are offered including workshop training programs, community employment training, job placement, mobile work crews, and leisure options. Two workshops are located in the Batavia area to assist the individual to gain vocational training. The Grissom Building and the Donald A. Collins Habilitation Center offer adults with disabilities the opportunity to earn a paycheck while continuing to develop necessary skills needed to gain community employment. The Adult Leisure Program is located at the Wildy Center and serves as an activity center so that people have the opportunity to choose alternative activities to regular work environments. 
the Community Employment Services Department serves adults who are actively seeking employment within the community. This division of the Claremont DD program will meet with employers or business owners to inquire about open positions within their companies. Once an individual is matched with the job, staff from the Community Employment Services Department assist the individual with the interviewing process. If the person is hired, a job coach works with the individual to do the actual training and will be with that individual until the job duties are learned. Claremont DD also has many enclaves or mobile work crews that work as a team within a business or organization. Each team consists of four to five individuals who are supervised by a staff person from Claremont DD. They complete the job according to what the business owner needs. Currently, we have enclaves that work at the Claremont County Airport, Bryan Equipment, the Claremont County Records Management Department, and Fairfield Inn and Suites Hotel. We also have a lawn crew who maintains cemeteries in the Batavia Township area during the spring, summer, and fall mowing seasons. Having a busy social life is healthy. It makes us feel good, helps us meet new friends, and assists us to form relationships that can last for many years. Claremont DD's activity program schedules monthly outings for individuals to experience new things while having fun with friends. There are many other services that are offered at Claremont DD, including the Gift of Time Respite Cooperative, Service and Support Administration, Bridges to Transition, the Prime Employment Class, and administrative services such as business operations, community relations, and investigations. For adults, we also offer the People in Action Self-Advocacy Group. All departments are an important part of the Claremont DD program as a whole, and more information can be found online at ClaremontDD.org. There are many ways Claremont DD can use the assistance of volunteers. A list of volunteer opportunities is available during this orientation to help you choose an area that is of interest to you. Not every program needs volunteer assistance, but we are confident we have something for you. If you are a high school or college student, make sure you choose an area that will fit the guidelines of your school requirements. There are a few standards we expect all Claremont DD volunteers to uphold. Professional behavior and attitude are mandatory. Confidentiality in your work is expected. You can tell everyone about your experience as a volunteer and some of the things you do in your assignment, but you cannot discuss individual cases or situations outside of the Claremont DD agency. Be faithful in your position. The program depends upon you, so please come when scheduled. If you cannot attend, please let your supervisor know. Be prompt and try not to leave early. Contact the Community Relations Department should you have other obligations or need to take a leave of absence from your volunteer assignment. Accept and demand supervision. Anyone who is employed in the area where you are assigned is your supervisor. Ask questions if you don't understand your role as a volunteer. Ask questions if you need help. Always ask questions. Take advantage of the reading materials or classes that might provide further understanding of your volunteer work. Commit to attend volunteer training sessions when they are offered. This can be by the Community Relations Department or by the staff who are your acting supervisors. Did we mention ask questions? Remember to always ask questions. You are not paid or compensated for your volunteer assignment. If you don't like your assignment, contact the Community Relations Department immediately. It is our goal to provide worthwhile, meaningful positions to all of our volunteers. At the end of this orientation, you will be given a copy of our volunteer handbook, which states the policy that governs our volunteer program. Please read through the handbook and the policy and let us know if you have any questions or concerns. Here are just a few of the highlights that you will need to remember each time you volunteer. You are not paid for your time other than earning volunteer hours. If you need them for a class, please let the Community Relations Director know and a formal letter will be sent to you along with your current hours. You must complete a timesheet and turn it in monthly. You can email it or send it to the Community Relations Director via inter-office mail. Your direct supervisor can also help you with this. Maintain confidentiality. No one wants to be talked about or discussed in a hurtful way. 
please follow the directions of a supervisor at any location you are placed. This includes within the DD facilities or in the community. Remember, supervisors can be anyone who is a paid staff from Claremont DD. Dress comfortably. Don't wear dangly jewelry, especially earrings that can get broken during an activity or volunteer experience. Follow the guidelines of your position description that will be given to you during this orientation. If you are over the age of 18, you must complete a criminal background fingerprint check. This is at no cost to you and will take place during your orientation. Volunteers cannot begin their assignment until a clean background check returns from the Bureau of Criminal Identification and Investigation. If you are transporting individuals to and from locations, you must have a clean driver's abstract that can be obtained by you at any Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles. If you are under a doctor's care, you must bring a statement from your doctor that states you are physically able to perform your volunteer duties. Keep the lines of communication open at all times. Discuss everything that happens during your volunteer assignment with your supervisor after each session. Volunteers who do not adhere to the Claremont DD rules, policies, or procedures will be dismissed. Grounds for dismissal can be, but are not limited to, gross misconduct or insubordination, being under the influence of alcohol or drugs, theft of property or misuse of board equipment, abuse or mistreatment of individuals with disabilities or staff, failure to abide by board policies and procedures, failure to meet physical or mental standards of performance, and failure to satisfactorily perform assigned duties. Volunteers may resign from their volunteer service with the board at any time. It is requested that volunteers provide advance notice so plans can be made for their absence when they leave. As appropriate, volunteers shall have access to board property and materials necessary to fulfill their duties. You will receive proper training for any equipment or property you are assigned to use. Each year, Claremont DD holds a fall recognition dinner and volunteers are recognized for the great things they do in our programs. An invitation will be sent to you via email or post office mail and we hope you will be able to join us. Communication is important whether it's between you and your supervisor or you and an individual from Claremont DD. What if the person you are with doesn't know how to speak? What should you do? Here is a video that was developed by Claremont, Hamilton, Butler, and Warren County DD programs that will hopefully answer some of the questions you might have. People with developmental disabilities want to be treated with respect and dignity. They have thoughts, feelings, and opinions just like everyone else. People with disabilities have a voice and want to be heard. If you have not been around a person with a developmental disability, you may not be sure how to communicate with them. Here are some suggestions. Good, thanks. Good. Good. My name's Sandy. I'll be your server. Can I go ahead and get you something to drink? We have Coke products. Diet Coke. A Diet Coke. Iced tea, please. Iced tea. Uh, water, please. Would you like lemon? No, thank you. Okay, I'll go ahead and get your drinks. Thank you. Thank you. Speak directly to me. I can speak for myself. It's okay to ask me if you don't understand what I said. Hey. I want you guys to do me, Robert. Hey, Robert. Brian. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Brian. You can shake my hand. My disability will not rub off. Your theater is on the left. Enjoy the movie. This is my voice. Please be patient with me.
sometimes my brother is loud. You may think he's being bad, but he's not. He has a disability. It's okay to be curious about my child's disability. I am a person. I am not contagious. He is a person. Get to know him. My daughter's a person just like everyone else. I'm a person. I have a disability, but I have not my disability. Words can hurt. Communicating with respect and dignity is universal. Learn more at southwestohiodd.com. As we come to the end of your volunteer orientation at Claremont DD, we want to once again thank you for agreeing to volunteer with our organization. Remember to fill out your paperwork, read through your handbook, keep your timesheet up to date, and turn it in once per month. Never forget to ask questions, and always remember that we appreciate all you do for Claremont DD and those we serve. <laughs>